Hey everyone, it's Pegmas here. Uh, we're going to work on a video today about a cabinet. Uh, right here, I've just got a rough concept. It's uh, 6 inches by 12 inches um, by. I did not put the overall height that I had. 18 inches. So this is just a cabinet for displaying nice things. Uh, this video will probably be in multiple parts, since it'll take a while. I'm going to start off with doing the top, or the bottom and top of the cabinet, then we'll move on to the sides. So the first thing we're going to do, as usual, is just make another part. Uh, I've already got the part file pulled up here. So I'll draw this on the top plane. We're going to go sketch, center rectangle, And we're going to do a smart dimension of 6 inches by 12 inches. And we will extrude that from the mid plane by 1 half inch. Uh, so we're going to hit the Y button, and that makes you look top down on it. I'm going to do another sketch. I'm going to do a center line uh, covering over the origin and then I'm going to do a corner rectangle I'll do just the one so I want to leave about a half inch I believe between the edge of the bottom and where the side actually is. So I'm going to hit control tab and look at the rough drawing and it doesn't look like I specified that there. So we'll just do the smart dimension from this line to that line and it is half an inch. So we'll hit control tab, go back here, smart dimension from this line to this line and we'll do 0.5 inches and then we're going to do from this line to here, we're going to do 0.5 inches and we're going to do let's say the, the thickness of the sides of the counter are also half an inch I mean if you want to do a three quarter inch then you do a three quarter inch uh, we're going to do five inch or half an inch and then we're going to mirror entities the entities we're going to mirror are the lines. And we're going to mirror about this uh, line here. And with the check mark. So the center line that we drew uh, went on the origin. So when we just duplicated it with the mirror entity, we used this line as the focal point, if I'm using that word correctly. And then we're going to do extrude cut and we're going to hit the Z button so we can see it from the front and we're going to do, do a quarter inch deep cut and we'll hit the check mark and then we will hit Z to look at it from another angle and we'll press and hold the middle mouse button and we can see it from the top So now we will hit Control 7 for an isometric view, Control S to save. We're going to call this the top and bottom. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to the sides. We're going to go File, New, do another part, and hit Control Tab to view the sides. And we know they are 17 by 5.5 by one half inch thick. So back to the previous drawing. Do it from the right plane. Hit the X to view it from the side, or I guess from the front really. Do another center rectangle. Smart dimension 17 by 5.5. and it's always good to double check your measurements and by one half inch 
So we will hit features, extrude boss base, 0.5, and I like to do it from the mid plane. And I'll hit control S, and we're going to do sides, and enter. And we're going to go back to the first drawing. We're going to go file, make assembly from part, press OK. We're going to get the top and bottom. We'll just hit the green check mark to automatically get it to come down into the origin so it won't move. We're going to hit import components. We're going to pin this box so it stays up. We're going to grab two sides and hit check. And then we will start the mating process. So we're going to hit mate. We're going to mate this face to this face here. We're going to mate that face to this face. Hit check twice so we can kind of drag it around the 3D space. And then we're going to mate this face to this one here. Let's go ahead and click one and two. And everything should line up evenly, and it does. So then we're just going to go ahead and do the same mating process from earlier. All right, control seven. And let's see, seven minute video. We have enough time to do this next one. So we're going to insert component top bottom, bring it in. If you press and hold it, you can move it around you just in the space with the left mouse. If you press and hold with the right mouse, you can rotate it, which is what I need to do. All right, so we're going to go to the assembly tab. We're going to mate this face to this face, we make this face here to that one, and then we will make this face to this one here, and then to make sure it's locked in, we'll just try to move it around. It says the selected component is fully defined and cannot be moved and it cannot be rotated. So that is part one for this video. I'm going to go ahead and work on part two next, uh, which will allow us to work on the door of the cabinet as well as the back panel. Thanks for watching.